So what's up guys, welcome back again in DaVinci Resolve 17. We're gonna be taking a look at another feature that I actually have been waiting for uh, to be included in DaVinci Resolve and that's gonna be the false color. Now before the update, I actually had to purchase my own false color from somebody else and it's from Time and Pixels. So if I go right here and search false color and this is what I purchased. That kind of just froze a little bit, but that's what I used to use before, which is a really good plugin, but it is like $47, $50. So with DaVinci Resolve 17, you have false color right here now. So you can see I'm going to drag and drop it here. Okay. And now you see that you now have a free false color. Now, if you go right here, you can kind of specify what camera you're using, but if you're not using these cameras, you can also select right here and go to creative and you go right here from creative style. You can go to exposure guide, control F. And now you have that false color, which helps a lot, especially with exposing the skin tones. So as you see right here, red is pretty much overexposed. So this is my absolute favorite tool when it comes to exposure. Uh, additionally, similarly to that plugin, you can also change the colors for these right here, which is really nice. And let's just go ahead and kind of go down so you can kind of see. Uh, if you show labels right here, it'll actually show you where everything is, which is such a nice touch. Middle gray is green, one stop over is this color, which I will probably change. Blue, green, change this right here. This should be the skin tone. So I can just go like maybe orange, like that, control F, and just like that, I change the one stop over middle gray. But yeah, now you have a free false color from the Venture Resolve. That's really nice. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys later. If you have questions, let me know and see you guys later.